you're rolling us up is Amber Bro here. Alrighty, so then, welcome to another RPG Maker 2003 tutorial. This one will be showing you how to make creative items. Now, I've only made two, um, but I'm just going to be kind of explaining how, like, they work and stuff. And then you can go from there and kind of create your own creative items. So then, the first item is called a Hollow Shift. And it's an item that you can use from your inventory that will become a random weapon for either character to use. It can become a bow, it can become a sword, it can become anything. So then how this works is you want to make the type a switch. Then you want to go to the consumption limit and set no limit. Put the description here and do the toggle switch. Make a new switch if you already have some up naturally and stuff. Um, and set the occasion to feel. Next you want to head on over to common events and check the trigger here and select auto run. Check the conditional switch and you want to make it whatever uh, switch that you had. Now you can name it if you want to. I'm not going to bother with naming it. And here's how this is going to work. You used a hollow shift. So the text shows it say, uh, oh. Anyway, so then, now, now what you want to do is you want to go to control variables. And you're going to make a new variable. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to use the default because I don't have any variables currently made. And what you're going to do is you're going to select random. And it's going to be from 0 to, let's just say 3 for this example. Next, you want to show choices. You're going to say sword, bow, staff, or don't. And then, uh, you're, and then what we're going to do from there is we're going to do a conditional branch, which is in tab 3 over here. And then we're going to check to see if variable 0 or, the first, or whatever variable that you have selected, in this case for me it's one. Uh, if it's equal to zero, then some text shows. Oh yeah, you also want to make sure that this is not checked, uh, the set handling thing. Alright, so if it's equal to zero, I'm just going to show some text, but you should show some text and add an item, obviously, because otherwise you're not going to get the item. You received a dank blade, for example. Um, and then you would add the item underneath the text here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that uh, conditional branch and change it if it's equal to 1. By the way, press space to change, or you can right click and click on edit. If it's equal to 1, you receive a uh, dark blade. And if it's equal to 2, then you receive a light blade. And if it's equal to 3, so we have a total of getting four different things uh, from zero to three. That's zero, one, two, three. So if it's equal to three, then we receive I don't know, some other thing, like a long sword. Long schlong. Anyways, so there you go. That's the conditional branches you want for that. And you can also copy and paste these and put them in the bows, and you can rename them to bow instead of sword, etc, uh, etc. Et and then staff, you would do the staff thing, and then donkey would do the donkey thing. Now anyways, after all this is over, what you want to do is you want to go to control switches and you want to turn that switch off. The switch that you've selected. In this case, for me, it's one. You want to turn it off so it doesn't keep on giving you items and you'll never be able to leave the event. The next thing you want to do is you want to control items or change items and you want to decrease hollow shift by one. After doing that, we'll play test it, and you will see. Thing out here, man. All right. So then, we're gonna get a couple of them because I have a little hidden event here that does so. We have eight of them. Um, as you can see, we'll use one. Use a hollow shift. Let's use it on a sword. We got a long sword. As you can see, uh, it gained one. What? Ah, I could have swollen. I selected decrease. I guess I did not. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, let's try this again. <laughs> we have six of them, we use one, we got a long sword, we have five of them, we use one, we got another long sword, light blade. As you can see, it's just random every time. So the hollow shift is a sort of item that can become any weapon. Now you can use uh, other event methods and stuff to kind of uh, make this a bit more interesting. <laughs> and yes, while one can uh, can argue that you uh, you could have simply selected no, uh, you should so to select, you could have selected one. Um, so by selecting no limits, if you want to have a cancel method, 
you would be able to do that. So uh, for the show choices, instead of uh, showing choice two, for example, you can have it a branch uh, if you wanted to do so, and then you can have like you can say user has canceled using the item uh, if you wanted to. But this is just a basic tutorial, so I'm just gonna go stick with this. But that's the point in making it to where you have no limit. Um, that way, it, it doesn't decrease on its own in case you decide to cancel. But in this case, cancel wasn't an option. But yeah, if you want to make it an option, there you go. All right, the next item is a pretty simplistic um, item, but I don't really see it done that much. Uh, okay, Sphere of Titan. As you can see here, it increases your attack by 15, but decreases your defense by 15. Um, if you had like a, a set of these items, and you used all of them, you would pretty much negate just about everything if you uh, do it right. So, um, by having items like this, you're giving the player a choice, like to give up something in exchange for something else. Uh, this is really, really cool because, again, you can have another item called um, Sphere of Turtle, for example, or something that would increase your defense but decrease your attack by an equal amount. Um, <clears throat> by doing this, you know. You can the player can actually decide which character uh, that he wants to make into a tank, uh, into uh, anything like that, pretty much. So those that's so those are some pretty creative items. Just a couple of them to throw in a few, a few ideas, and yeah. Let me know a few creative items that you guys come up with in the comments. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.